These two newborn babies, there are different numbers of red lines on their heads. The nurse only took care of the baby with one red line. As for the baby with three red lines, they didn't care because these children are born inferior. And soon, this inferior baby called Mike, he grew up, and rightly so. Like the rest of the inferior people, they lived in the humblest of houses. Their daily bread was the cheap slices of meat that fell out of the pipes when they pressed this red button. The cheap pieces of meat that fall out of the pipes. And then suddenly a guy with a coffee walks up next to them. Oh my god, this is a medium person with two red lines. Mike confirms this information. Instinctively, he stood up to make way, and then, with a face full of good cheer, inviting him to sit in his place. It's been a really bad day. I've only just eaten the meat in my hand. Why did I need a medium person with two red lines? This guy raised the corner of his mouth. Then he asked Mike to help him with his bag. He was obviously enjoying the service that came with his status. Mike hadn't finished his job until he got him into the VIP room. Mike, who was still feeling depressed about what had happened to him today. Suddenly, he was hit by another ball. Mike's anger was instantly ignited, but he soon realized two red lines on the kicker's forehead. So not only did he not get angry, he was also very humble in his greeting. Would Mike like to live like that? No, of course not. He hated it. You could say, and something seemed to be guiding him this day. And with a magic eraser, and erased a red line, and in an instant Mike became a medium. And so he went out and, seeing the other three red lines bowing down in front of him, he couldn't have been more pleased with himself. Soon, Mike arrived at the door of the VIP room. This was the place he'd always dreamed of. Without much thought, he walked right in. But Mike had no idea. The two red lines in front of him were the lowest ranking staff in the VIP room. Some of the two red lines were having massages. Some were kneeling on the side. Others were serving food. And the person they were serving was, of course, one of the rare red lines. This is not at all what I expected. No, it's not. I didn't come here to be a waitress. So... With absolute confidence, Mike enjoys the two red lines of flattery. And just like that, he had the same service as one of the red lines. Mike placed his feet on the heads of the two red lines, drinking a delicious juice he'd never had before, and a nice massage. All the unpleasantness of the past was gone. But just then, suddenly a huge iron pipe fell from overhead. And then, 